welcome to the second part of the video series on art and literary aesthetics this is a complimentary paper prescribed for the second semester ba english language and literature students of the university of kerala uh, to begin with um, we are continuing with uh, uh, the discussion on art uh, movements the history of art movements and um, uh, the first uh, um, author that we will be discussing today is Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Coleridge is one of the most influential poets um, of the Romantic age and the poem uh, that has been prescribed is The Destruction of the Bastille. Uh, if you uh, have watched the earlier video, uh, we had discussed a romantic painting by the French um, artist Delacroix titled Liberty Leading the People that uh, was based on uh, the July 1830 uh, revolution. Now this was based on the original French revolution of 1789. It was uh, composed in 1789. The poem was composed in 1789 but it was published much later only in 1834. There are six stanzas but two of them are missing. The second and the third stanza are missing. Now in this poem, Coleridge hopes that the French Revolution will bring about a drastic uh, political change in the world. The poem follows a conventional uh, pattern, uh, namely the Whig uh, Progress poem. Now in the first stanza, the narrator praises France for breaking free from tyranny. And the final couplet of the first stanza anticipates a fertile future. Now this is uh, given. Uh, uh, this is given through the image of uh, uh, the growth from the productive soil of a volcanic uh, eruption. Now the second and third are missing, as I mentioned earlier. The fourth stanza again uh, alludes to the sufferings of the inhabitants of the Bastille. In stanza five, the narrator again hopes for France's triumph, as is evident in the lines. I quote. I see, I see, glad liberty succeed. And again, yes, liberty, the soul of life shall reign, shall throb in every pulse, shall flow through every vein. The final stanza, stanza 6, is a request to the Prime Minister of Britain to help another country, namely Belgium, to break free from Austrian control. Coleridge also remembers uh, England's glorious revolution, uh, the glorious revolution of 1688, in which James II was replaced by William and Mary. Now the themes of this uh, romantic poem uh, are enthusiasm of revolution, the promise of liberty, the focus on political abstractions, and again how uh, nature has caused this uh, violence in France. It also talks about how humanity and society can be transformed through revolution. The next moment is the pre-Raphaelite movement of the 1850s. Now this was basically a kind of a rebellious art movement. Uh, the pre-Raphaelite brotherhood was a secret society. It was led by poets like Dante, Gabriel Rossetti, William Holman Hunt, John Everett, Millet and so on. They challenged values of classical Victorian art. The pre-Raphaelites revived methods, the ideals of Renaissance and medieval art. And they were also highly inspired by John Ruskin. Now, uh, Dante Rossetti aimed to create high quality art. He expressed uh, real ideas and sympathized with genuine heartfelt aspects of historical artworks. He was also able to portray nature accurately. Now, if you look at the slide, you will find one of his famous paintings titled Proser Pine. Uh, it was uh, created in 1874. Now the painting depicts Proser Pine who was the queen of Hades, the wife of Pluto, the king of the underworld. Uh, if you look closely at the painting, you will find the various symbols that Rossetti has used. Uh, Proserpine is holding a pomegranate, the pomegranate fruit. Uh, this fruit signifies captivity and uh, marriage. Uh, and Proserpine was abducted by Pluto uh, when she was uh, having fun with her friends and um, she was uh, uh, held against her will. 
in the uh, underworld so uh, this uh, painting is actually it is a reflection of uh, the desire of uh, proserpine her longing to return to her uh, original home and uh, there is an incense burner uh, which gives uh, her the or which points out the fact that proserpine is a goddess then um, an iv spray on the left corner top left corner it is a symbol of uh, clinging memory uh, this is also echoed in um, the folds of the gown the, the gown that proserpine is wearing now uh, if you look at the top right corner uh, rosetti has actually inscribed a sonnet for the painting the sonnet uh, inside the painting is uh, written in italian and it's also uh, written in english on the frame now this is how the sonnet goes afar away the light that brings cold cheer unto this wall one instant and no more admitted at my distant palace door afar the flowers of enna from this drear dire fruit which a, which tasted once must thrall me here so this is a reference to how she is um, she is being enslaved in the underworld and because she has tasted the seeds of the pomegranate she is able to return to her mother to see her mother only uh, for 6 months of the year the remaining 6 months she has to remain with pluto in hades afar those skies from the tartarian grey that chills me and afar how far away the nights that shall be from the days that were afar from my own self i see and wing strange ways in thought and listen for a sign and still some heart unto some soul doth pine who sounds my inner sense and fain to bring continually together murmuring woes me for the unhappy prosperine so uh, the poem is uh, um, about longing and desire and uh, it shows a very gloomy picture that of a glo- dark corridor in the palace the only um, Uh, light is a, a gleam that strikes on the wall behind proserpine uh, um, and it uh, allows her a glimpse of the upper world so she is glancing stealthily towards it and she is lost in thought so the sonnet uh, narrates this entire desire uh, this intense longing and desire of proserpine who wants who wishes to return to her home and uh, she longs to be her own self the next uh, moment heart moment is realism uh, between the years 1848 and 1900 now uh, realism is the first uh, modern art movement it began in france in the 1840s uh, the main causes uh, are the anti um, romantic movement in germany the rise of journalism and the advent of photography Uh, this movement focused on accuracy and detailed life like description life like depictions in art uh, a prominent um, uh, artist is gustav corbe now corbe is a french artist he led the realism movement in 19th century french painting he uh, he has remarked or he has claimed that he had paint he has painted only what he could physically see uh, so he associated his ideas of realism in art with political anarchism Now an example of Courbet's uh, realistic paintings is The Stone Breakers of 1849. Now this is an oil painting on canvas. It is an example of social realism. It caused a sensation when it was first exhibited in Paris in 1850. In this painting you see two men, one young and the other one old. Uh these are uh, this is a scene that Courbet actually witnessed. uh these two men were discovered breaking stones on the side of the road the next uh, important movement in art is art nouveau 1890 to 1910 art nouveau means um new art now new art was an attempt to create an entirely authentic movement free from any imitation of preceding styles new art focused on the natural world and it is characterized by long sinuous lines and curves uh, you find new art in uh, architecture graphic and interior design jewelry ma- making and painting uh, the next important moment is impressionism 
uh, roughly between the periods of 18 uh, between the years 1865 and 1885 uh, now impressionism as the title or the name indicates it uh, in, it records the impression of a particular moment the immediate impression of a particular moment uh, it represents a modern life uh, so, and the subject matter is contemporary life or modern life rather than historical and mythological events uh, impressionist works artworks are characterized by short quick brush strokes and an unfinished sketch like feel claude monet the french artist is uh, one of the famous uh, artists of the impressionist movement uh, if you look at the slide you will find one of his famous paintings impression sunrise in 1872 by monet uh, the next period is the post impressionist uh, uh, stage or the post impressionism movement in art history from uh, again from 1885 to 1910 now this movement worked independently but they also had similar ideals post impressionist artists concentrated on subjective visions and symbolic personal meanings rather than observations of the outside world. Vincent van Gogh is an influential post-impressionist painter. He conveyed personal expression through his art. Uh, again, uh, the painting that you see, you can see the Starry Night is widely regarded as uh, van, van Gogh's magnum opus. It is an oil on canvas painting. It was painted in June 1889 and the scene actually is a uh, portrayal of uh, uh, the view from the east facing window of Van Gogh's room in the asylum. It is just before sunrise and he has added an imaginary village in the painting. Amrita Shergil uh, is one of the pioneers of modern Indian art. You know, her painting The Ancient Storyteller uh, created in 1940 is again uh, an example of a post-impressionist artwork. She has represented Indian traditions in her works. Uh, she is a Hungarian-born Indian painter and uh, her favorite themes were Indian peasant life. Her observations were largely empathetic. In this uh, particular painting, The Ancient Storyteller, you can see it is an image of a rural uh, domesticity. It's an intimate image of rural domesticity and she has also combined architecture and human figures. The use of colors is also striking. She has used intense red, ochre, brown, yellow and green to depict uh, the human uh, figures there. The faces seem very sad and pensive. Another work uh, considered as a post-impressionist novel is uh, The Waves by Virginia Woolf. Uh, this is a, a very unconventional um, uh, novel characteristic of Virginia Woolf's style. Uh, the Waves is a portrait of the interwoven lives of six individuals, six friends named Bernard, Neville, Louis, Ginny, Susan and Rhoda. Uh, the novel is divided into nine sections. Each section corresponds to a particular time of a day and symbolically each section uh, refers to a period in the lives of the characters. The novel captures uh, the poetic rhythm of uh, everyday life without a traditional uh, kind of narrative, without a traditional focus on character and plot. Virginia Woolf uh, resists the hypocrisy of the Victorians who depicted difficulties of ordinary life. Instead, uh, Woolf depicts life as a sad struggle in which people do their best with what they have. Uh, the Waves is considered an experimental novel. Uh, it is inventive and complex and it was published in 1931. Uh, uh, the novel is a meditation on the structure and the limits of the self. Uh, in this novel you find that humans are both disconnected and isolated from each other but they also define one another. So life has been uh, portrayed as a constant stream of senses, of impressions and random events. Now, the typical impressionist elements, uh, Wolf has used uh, the use of colors, feelings, emotions, obscure identities and so on. The images and symbols that you find in the novel are complex but they have an impressionistic uh, style. The novel can be considered as a combination of modern art as well as a combination of modern literary genres. 
the next moment is fauvism from 1900 to 1935 uh, fauvism is considered the first avant-garde 20th century art movement and it was led by a french visual artist named matisse uh, this movement um, is characterized by the use of intense color colors lines and brushworks and um, uh, the works also show a bold sense of surface dis dif design and flat composition. Now, one of the core elements in Fauvism was the separation of color from its descriptive or representational purpose. Now, Matisse was one of the undisputed masters of this art, and um, he is famous for his mastery of expressive language of color and drawing. Uh, if you look at the slide, you will find a famous, uh, one of the famous paintings by Matisse titled Woman with a Hat. It was uh, composed in 1905. Now, the paintings of Matisse uh, had, have helped to establish his legacy as a leading figure in modern art movement. I have also given uh, references from which I have, um, that I have used to uh, prepare uh, the content of this video. I hope you have found this useful.